The Weddell Sea spreads over a vast area. In winter, 75% of its surface is covered in ice. It is the realm of the penguin and myriad marine species, but it is not the realm of man, and many want to keep it that way. So the more information the team can gather, the better the chances of winning protection for these unique waters. On board the expedition sub is Antarctic specialist Suzanne Lockhart, keen to find out what this little-known zone holds. And what she discovered was a stunning underwater realm composed of all manner of life. It has 100% coverage of the seafloor of uh, organisms. It has a great 3D structure which allows other organisms to come in and live there. And a really interesting species composition. And all these factors make it really difficult for a community to recover after a disturbance such as bottom fishing. We call these areas vulnerable marine ecosystems and hopefully we can get to this and other areas we come across special protection. The team are also searching for evidence of the less visible. So one of the big stories at the moment of course is plastics in the world's oceans and these are some of the remotest waters in the world on earth so it'd be very interesting for the crew here to establish whether or not any plastics have reached this far and that's uh, what grant is about to do here yeah that's right we're just uh, see, sampling the, the sea surface with uh, for microplastic fibers evidence is growing around the world from studies that microplastic fibers are extremely pervasive and they are being found even in the very remotest locations Snow samples are also taken on shore throughout the expedition in different locations to see if there's any sign of microplastics there. Yeah, we'll have to see what we get out of the whole process. Bigger debris even finds its way to these remote coasts. Here are washed up fishing buoys, but it's PFCs Grant and the team are on the lookout for, which enter the world's oceans through, amongst other things, washing everyday clothes. They're, they're a group of chemicals that are used um, predominantly in textiles and they're used for Gore-Tex finishes, water repellents, dirt repellents. Um, you find them even in household carpets these days and so not just clothes. All this newfound knowledge will be studied and compiled once the expedition wraps up at the end of March to support the EU-backed bid to turn a major part of the Weddell Sea into an ocean sanctuary. Nick Clark, Al Jazeera, Antarctica.